Guys, meet my husband. Say <laughs> hello to my subscribers. Hello, <laughs> hello guys. <laughs> Good afternoon from my side and welcome to the channel. So guys, uh, in today's video uh, is about a young master, the youngest one and the fifth one. So guys, uh, he has a tongue tie. Out of all my children, uh, he's the only one uh, who has it and uh, I am lucky to be able to see it on time. So, and his tongue tie is the severe one. So, uh, which means that uh, it's going to affect him talking, uh, raising up his uh, tongue, and a whole lot of other things, speech also. So, which means uh, it's supposed to be uh, cut, to cut under that place so that he, it can free his tongue. So, uh, meanwhile, uh, I went to the first hospital uh, because he is, he is uh, past uh, six months. Yeah, he's in his six months. So I went to the first hospital. They say they, they are going to, we are going to wait till one year. And you know, uh, some babies before one year, they've already started talking. My first child, my, my first child started talking even before one year. So, uh, so waiting till that time can make the tongue stiff, which is not good, and also uh, affect his speech. So, uh, yeah, so I went and, uh, yeah, they said one year, and uh, I know uh, in my country, back in Nigeria, usually uh, when they detect it, they are able to, to operate on it, or even when you give birth, they are supposed to check it. The midwife and the doctors are supposed to check it so that uh, they can cut it out immediately. So as the child is growing, he will be fine. So, guys, um, yeah, so at this minute, I went to my doctor, the private hospital, and uh, yeah, luckily, they, they do that, uh, they operate on it, and uh, yeah, they also said that uh, uh, sometime this week, he also had a child, they operated on, on it also, so uh, I'm going to go back. I went there this morning, I already booked appointment yesterday, so I went there this morning, and uh, yeah, so they said I will come back around the 2.30 in the afternoon, because they need to order some things they will use to operate on it so at this minute i'm back in the house so me and my family uh, the siblings we are trying to pray for him yeah we are trying to pray for him before the operation and uh, yeah he's sleeping at the moment so here is a candle uh, uh, this candle here is a a lighted candle uh, Chris uh, used for his uh, christening, so you can always use it to pray for him. So that is why you can see a lighted candle here. So yeah, guys. Praise God, The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of you. guys we are ready to leave the start going now to leave the house uh wish us luck going to the hospital and uh, yeah wish us luck i pray you go successful and uh, i'll keep you guys updated Hey, my 
Uh, all right, there we go. Finish, my lad. Finish, my lad. This is my lad. Okay. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a picture. So guys, uh, yeah, he's there with the doctor and the nurse, and uh, yeah, uh, we have given him to the hands of God, and uh, we pray that uh, he will be fine. I don't know how I'm feeling, even the father of us <laughs> oh my god <laughs> they gave him a pain um, pain injection and um, yeah the sleeping one also it is as if he's just <laughs> hallucinating <laughs> oh my god I don't know ah he's well I know that God will be with him and uh, God will operate this successfully upon him oh god I don't know how I'm feeling. I don't know. Uh, so guys, we are done here. Uh, my son is like, he's hallucinating. <laughs> yeah, we are done. Thank God for the successful surgery. It didn't take time though. It didn't take much time. So he's with his daddy and uh, we are just waiting for his uh, medication so we can take it and uh, start going home. So wish us luck. I'll keep you guys updated.